Hamilton is a big city with a small town feel. The population is over 800,000, but residents will tell prospective homeowners that it is the best place to live. Many residents of Ontario are choosing to relocate to Hamilton to escape the hustle and bustle of Toronto. Hamilton is located on the Niagara Escarpment, which provides residents with beautiful nature trails, picture-perfect landscapes, and of course waterfalls. This is one of the biggest selling points, as prospective homeowners are relocating to Hamilton to enjoy the city's small-town nature, and having easy access to the outdoors is always a plus. So, here is the list of the 9 best places to live in Hamilton, Ontario. Before we start, make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos. Here we go. Number 1. Ancaster. Ancaster is one of the oldest and certainly among the best neighborhoods in Hamilton. It is surrounded by nature spots like Tiffany Falls, Hermitage Falls, and the Dundas Valley Conservation Area. Dundas alone has forests, streams, meadows, and lush plant and animal life. Ancaster also has a thriving arts scene. Throughout the year, you can look forward to many key events, such as the Ancaster Film Festival, Field Coat Concert Series, and Brat Music Festival. The area was founded in 1793, and the area has a rich history preserved in the Ancaster Heritage Village. Walking around the neighborhood, you'll also find some historical houses dating back to the 1800s. While Ancaster Homes commands the highest prices, the good news is that there are now many condos and apartments that you can buy for less than $600,000. Number 2. Corktown. This is one of the original downtown Hamilton neighborhoods and, as such, has an authentic historic feel. Home to the Hamilton GO station, it is also well connected to public transport and walking distance from the downtown core of malls and businesses. Several new-build high-rises in Corktown provide apartments alongside older historic homes, and there is a definite atmosphere of being in the center of a large city. House prices are higher than elsewhere in Hamilton, but still reasonable in comparison with other cities, with a 2017 average of around $348,000. Number 3. Westdale. Many McMaster University students and professors live in Westdale, which makes it a university community. Hence, the community offers a vibrant and eccentric atmosphere, although the university goes to great lengths to ensure that each resident feels at home. The neighborhood is highly convenient because there are many amenities nearby, such as shopping and restaurants. The Westdale community was established in the 1920s. These properties tend to be more spacious and a little older than the small and modern homes for sale in Hamilton Center. There are single-family homes as well as a few condos that are rarely listed. The average home value in Hamilton can range between $600,000 and $850,000. Number 4. Hamilton North End. This neighborhood is a mix of apartment buildings, family homes, and businesses. Also well connected to public transport with the West Harbor Go Station, this neighborhood remains one of the best neighborhoods owing to the vast amenities of Lakeshore and Hamilton Beach. Although improvements and innovations are still in their minute stage, the neighborhood and surrounding Hamilton neighborhoods such as Beasley coupled with the industrial sectors to the east along the lakeshore, are all still feeling the aftereffect of the collapse of Hamilton's industry in the 80s and 90s. However, there are still very good and decent property prices in the neighborhood. Number 5. Dundas. This area is perfect for people who love a laid-back, artistic and hipster vibe. It has artisanal shops, microbreweries, third-wave cafes, and many other local shops offering niche goods and interesting interiors. The downtown area is also a favorite filming location because of 19th-century architecture. The house prices are on the rise but definitely lower than the rest of Ontario. For example, you can find a large house with four or five rooms at the same price as a small apartment in the central business district. On average, a single detached home costs about $450,000, at the top end, you can pay about $1.5 million. 
While you must commute to work or school, you can take the GO train or the bus. If you drive, it will take about an hour to get to Toronto and 15 minutes to get to the center of the Hamilton Business District. So you are still reasonably close to the city, and your commute will take you past waterfalls, parks, and beautiful scenery. Number 6. Strathcona. Strathcona is located west of downtown Hamilton. All amenities for day-to-day -day living can be found within walking distance. There are many restaurants and retail shopping options for residents of Strathcona to enjoy. Dundon Castle and the Bayfront Park are just two of the many highly sought-after locations for outdoor and indoor activities for couples or the whole family. This historical neighborhood is a community primarily made up of older residents. The quiet and tranquil nature of the neighborhood offers a peaceful place to rest after a long day in Hamilton Center. Home styles are either connected or single-family homes. The average price of a home in Strathcona can range from $200,000 to $400,000. Number 7. Hamilton East End. The East End comprises 21 smaller neighborhoods. The properties are affordable, and many homes have small yards and gardens. It's great for a first home, and one of the best neighborhoods in Hamilton for newlyweds, young families, or older couples looking for a place to live out their retirement. East End is very close to King's Forest and has beautiful views of the Niagara Escarpment. So, this is perfect for people who love nature but also want shopping malls within a short driving distance. For example, a CF Lime Ridge Mall has big brands like Handem and Old Navy and local boutiques that offer goods at affordable prices. Many streets, especially in the more developed neighborhoods, are lined with trees and have small parks and playgrounds. The area is also pedestrian friendly, so it's easy to run errands quickly and safely for an evening walk. Number 8. Hamilton Kirkendall. If you want a lively, eclectic neighborhood with a diverse population and trendy destinations, then Kirkendall may be one of the best neighborhoods in Hamilton for you. It has restaurants, clubs, pubs and bars, so after work or on weekends, it's easy to walk or take a quick drive to find fun and entertainment. But that doesn't mean Kirkendall is just one big party district. It also has nature spots and very picturesque streets lined with turn-of-the-century homes. Some properties are located near Highland Gardens Park, on top of the city reservoir. While property prices are a little higher here, it is one of the safest places in Hamilton, and the mix of modern entertainment and quiet country charm sets it apart from many other areas. Number 9. Stony Creek. Well situated in East Hamilton, Stony Creek remains one of the best places to consider if you intend to live in a tightly knitted community. Very close to well-noted highways that offer very easy access to Toronto and Burlington, this neighborhood is a good place to also raise a family. Waterfront condo developments and single-family homes ensure that newcomers to the city are blessed with assorted options to pick from. Beach life is very much likely in Stony Creek, and Hutch's Fish and Chips is a must-visit in the community. Hamilton boasts of neighborhoods that are well-designed to offer a vast range of amenities, depending on your taste and choice. Regardless of the factors you are putting into consideration when looking for a good place to move, the city has everything you need in a well-established community. The last word. So, guys, these are the best places to live in Hamilton, Canada. Hope you will like it and appreciate it. People who come to this city are amazed by all of the awesome things there are to do and see. Hamilton is a vibrant port city located on the western shore of Lake Ontario. Known for its beautiful natural attractions, the ambitious city is becoming one of the top real estate markets in the Greater Toronto and Hamilton area, or GTHA. With that in mind, there are many Hamilton neighborhoods to choose from, so you need to familiarize yourself with the different areas to make a perfect choice. So, if you love to travel and you want to see the whole world then this is the channel that gives you a list of the best places to visit in the world. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon for the latest upcoming travel videos.
Bye bye, see you in the next video.